This is a really quick unscripted overview on three really simple VRC Fury tools um, that can help speed up just avatar creation. So I'm going to quickly go over how to make simple toggles, how to control gestures, and how to attach props to any bone on your avatar in this video. So what VRC Fury actually is, is it's a set of tools that you can import as a Unity package into your Unity project. Um, that will help you make quick changes, quick systems, quick edits to your avatar uh, non-destructively. And what that basically means is you can create toggles, you can um, attach props to your avatar without actually impacting the source of your avatar. You can not actually be making real irreversible changes to your avatar but still add these systems. So if you are a beginner avatar creator, I still do recommend that you learn how to make all of these changes and build all of these systems manually. Um, however, this is just a tool that can help you speed up the process in some areas. And you can get a copy of VRC Fury from their website, vrcfury.com, it's free. Or you can also do the whole creator companion stuff as well. So I'm going to start by showing you how to actually set up VRC Fury for your avatar. All of our VRC Fury scripts um, are components that have to live on a game object. So let's create that now. Just kind of create an empty and name it VRC Fury. And simply drag this into our avatar hierarchy, just like that. So something simple I'm going to show you how to create first is just a toggle. I have this model I made. And let's say I want it to turn on and off. Normally what you'd have to do is you'd have to make an animation for it enabled, animation for it disabled, and then go into your animator controllers uh, and do all the logic for that, set the parameters manually. But uh, VRC Fury lets us do that pretty much automatically. So what I'm going to do is go back over to our VRC Fury game object, look in the inspector, uh, if you don't see the inspector, you can get that with window uh, inspector, like that. But in the inspector, I'm going to uh, add a component, and I want a toggle. So once I've created this toggle, there's a whole bunch of different options. Um, basically, when I add this toggle, it's going to create an option in your expressions menu inside of VRChat that let you push a button that will do a thing, and this is where we specify what it actually does. So in this case, I want it to toggle on and off the bubble T model. So I'm going to click Add an Action and do Object Toggle. And when I press the button, I want it to turn it on. So I'll put that in there. And lastly, I need to give it a name. So uh, I can call it um, Bubble T. Or I can get more complicated. And if I want it to be like inside of a folder in my menu, I can go something like Props Bubble T. And now it will be inside of a folder called Props. And when I go in that folder, I'll have a toggle called Bubble T. And that will turn on and off this prop right there. Um, as you've seen, there's a whole bunch of other options as well uh, that I could make have happen when I hit this button. You can have it toggle on and off multiple things. You can mess with the scale of it. Um, I'll let you play with that, but pretty much we've created a simple toggle. It was that easy. Another thing to note is although this is enabled right now, this bubble T, since I have this set to turn on, uh, this will actually turn off by default when I build and upload the avatar. So um, Regardless of what the state of this is here, on or off, it's going to respect um, whatever this setting is right here. So this kind of brings me to the second relevant thing that I want to talk about, is this T is not actually attached to my hand. It's attached to the avatar as a whole. You'll see uh, if I move my hips 
doesn't actually move anywhere with it, and it definitely does not move when I move my hand. Fiercy Fury has a tool for this, um, and it allows you to attach any prop um, to any bone on your avatar, so anything underneath here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose to attach this to my right hand. So first I'm going to position it so that it kind of looks like my hand is holding it. Something like that. And next I'm going to add another VRC Fury component called Armature Link. So back to our VRC Fury object, I want Armature Link. So what this feature does is it lets us attach any object, any prop, to another bone on the avatar. Um, this is what you see when you have creators making prop systems that are like one-click install, where um, it will automatically know how to attach to your hand, or you'll have an outfit set up for your avatar that automatically knows how to attach. Um, it's using systems like this. In this case, though, we just care about attaching uh, the bubble tee to my right hand. So in this case, I'm just going to drag the bubble tee in here. And then um, under this drop down right here, I want to find the right hand. And so now at, at runtime, when we um, build and publish the avatar, when we use the avatar in game, um, this prop will be attached to our right hand. Another thing to note is this is where the fact that I mentioned it was non-destructive comes in. This is really important. Let's say in a normal scenario, I animated the toggle and put it on the controller and did everything manually. And then I was like, oh shoot, I actually want to switch which hand this is attached to. I actually want it to be attached to my head. All of your animation paths in that toggle would be pointing to the wrong location. But because we're using these two VRC Fury uh, components in conjunction, both will still work. It will still know to toggle off this object. And I didn't have to rewrite any sort of animation paths or anything, which is great. The last core VRC Fury feature I'm going to show you is how to set up gestures. So VRChat gestures are maybe you want to make a peace sign with your left hand and then it makes your avatar wink, or you want to make a thumbs up with your right hand and it makes your avatar blink. Normally you'd have to go through the trouble of recording separate animation clips for every facial expression and then input those animation clips uh, into the animator controller. Fortunately, VRC Fury has a component for this too. If I add the gestures component, I can define a list of hand gestures and then choose what animations um, or actions I want those gestures to trigger. So let's start by clicking the plus. And then we have a couple of different options. Uh, in the center here, we choose what hand gesture it is. So Fear Chat supports different hand gestures. Uh, how you make those hand gestures changes depending on your controller. But let's do a peace sign, also known as victory. Then I can choose if I want it to be triggered by either hand, just my left hand, just my right hand, or a combo. If I choose combo, I'll have to pick specifically what I want my hand gesture to be for both my left and my right hand. In this case, I don't really care um, how I trigger it, so I'll just go with, I can trigger it with either hand. Then, similar to how we set up our toggle, we have to actually add what action we want to happen. You'll notice it gives you lots of different options, um, but in this case, I care about blend shapes because I want to animate the facial expression of my character. This first option, uh, which is checked by default, uh, apply to all renderers, specifies whether or not you want the blend shape to apply to all meshes on your avatar. So for example, I have my face mesh and I have my body mesh. In this case, I don't want this to apply to my body mesh. I only want it to apply to my face. So what I'm going to do is uncheck apply to all renderers and then drag my face mesh in there. Then I have the option to select what blend shape I want. Um, in a lot of cases, avatars can have dozens, if not hundreds, of blend shapes. So to figure out what I want exactly, I'm going to go back to my face mesh and then preview a couple of different ones. I can preview what it looks like on my avatar just by adjusting the slider. And I think I like the blink happy one, so I'm going to make sure to set that back to zero when I'm done. Go back over to the VRC Fury tab and then 
find the blink happy blend shape. It is very important that you type in the blend shape name exactly. It's case sensitive and sensitive to spaces. Um, I would recommend just using the search function and I can look for blink happy. And now that I've set that up, when I make a peace sign, victory sign with either hand, it's going to apply a blink happy at 100% strength to my face mesh. And you can apply as many different blend shapes or as many different actions as you want to this gesture. I could add more blend shapes or any of these options, and I could make as many different gestures as I want within this gesture component. Click this plus, and now you'll see I have another one to work with. So I've been showing you all of this setup process, but what does this actually look like in VRChat? Of course, you could build and upload your avatar and look at it that way, but you can actually also preview the logic and the toggles and the gestures right inside of Unity. Personally, I'm using Leguma's av Avatars 3 emulator just to preview what all of this looks like inside of Unity. You can get it from Leguma's GitHub and um, simply just download the Unity package from releases and install it to your Unity project. With uh, Av3 av emulator installed, I'm just gonna go to the tools dropdown Go to Avatars 3 Emulator and click Enable. And it will make an Avatars 3 Emulator control object in my scene. With all of that set up, all I have to do is hit play. And you'll notice when I play, it's going to um, also build and compile all of our VRC Fury scripts. Now that I'm in play mode, I can go back over to the scene. And you'll notice my avatar is standing idly as if it were actually in VRChat. For comparison, without, um, for comparison, without Av3 Emulator installed, it would still just be T-posing and have no logic or animations to it. So now we can actually test some of the features that we just added to our avatar. I'm going to click on the root of my avatar. And you'll notice I have um, kind of a representation of what the VRChat menu would look like. So if you remember back to when we created the toggle, um, we had a props folder with our bubble T toggle inside of it. And that's what this represents over here. Here's our props folder. And when I click it, you'll see there's a bubble T toggle. Then if I click on this toggle, it turns on and then off the T, just like we described in the VRC Fury component for the toggle. You'll also notice it stays attached to our hand because of the armature link um, that we set up. Then lastly, to test the gesture we set up, we can specify what our hand should be doing. So if you'll remember, we set it to uh, trigger on a victory pose. So if I click victory, you'll notice it's doing the expression that we set up. You don't have to have Avatar 3 Emulator to use VRC Fury. They are completely separate tools, um, but both are very helpful for avatar creation, especially together. And then I'm just going to stress one more time, if you're a beginner avatar creator, I do still recommend learning how to do it manually, because if you want to eventually create more complex systems and you want to um, make custom logic for your avatar or whatever, it's very helpful to understand what VRC Fury is actually doing under the hood. But yeah, if you do really just want to make like one or two simple toggles, or maybe um, you've gotten your avatar from somebody else uh, and you don't really want to get too heavy into the logic and customization, this is a great tool. I would highly recommend it. That's pretty much all I have for this. Um, this was just a tutorial idea um, I've had in the back of my mind for a while, um, and I figured it could help some folks. So let me know what you think. Um, Hope you did find it helpful, and I will see you in future videos, I guess. Oh, and here's the spiel about, um, please do check out my store and stuff if you like my work. I do particles, I do things um, you can attach with VRC Fury and play with them, so um, if you want to learn from that, or if you just want some cool trinkets and props for your avatar, please do check that out. So, Alright, that's actually all this time. Uh, bye. <laughs>